The portrait by Julian Ashton, painted in 1889, was presented to Tenterfield Sir Henry Parks National Memorial in November 1959 by the New South Wales Art Gallery. The gallery had in fact purchased the portrait in 1890 for £250. The artist, Julian Ashton, was born in 1851 in Surrey, England. Soon after his birth, his family moved to Cornwall, where his father, an amateur painter, encouraged the artistic leanings of Julian and his brother George. At 15, Julian took a job in the civil engineering branch of the Great Eastern Railway and attended the West London School of Art at night. After three years, he joined a firm of ironmongers as a draftsman, but soon left to become a successful illustrator for journals such as Chatterbox and Cassell's magazine. Ashton, with his wife and son, arrived in Melbourne in 1878 to work on the Illustrated Australian News. There followed work on the Australian Sketcher, the picturesque Atlas of Australasia and the Bulletin. In 1886, based in Sydney, Ashton began to teach privately and from 1892 to 1895 he conducted classes at the Art Society of New South Wales. In 1895, Ashton joined a new professional body, the Society of Artists, Sydney. Sacked from his teaching position, he established his own school in King Street, moved it to the Queen Victoria Markets in 1906 and renamed it the Sydney Art School. Located in George Street from 1935, the school became the Julian Ashton School and always enjoyed a considerable reputation. From 1889 to 1899, Ashton was a trustee of the National Gallery of New South Wales and was responsible for its enlightened patronage of local artists. Ashton was a well-established artist in both oils and watercolours. He painted portraits of, among others, Henry Parks and Archbishop Michael Kelly. In 1914, Ashton's sight began to deteriorate and while this forced him to reduce his artistic activities, he nevertheless remained vocal on all matters art. An inspired teacher, although it was generally agreed a less gifted painter, Julian Ashton dominated artistic circles in Sydney for more than 50 years. He died in 1942.